most people are conditioned to only think of paper assets. I mean, prior to my awakening, I, ne I never considered gold and silver and would probably have fallen into the same uh, mindset as a barbarous relic, like what good is this for? Um, and, I, and I think that's what we have to understand is that not only are the actors that are in control of this paradigm, uh, f you know, paper Ponzi scheme biased, but so are the consumers of it. I mean, quite frankly, if the, uh, enough people woke up and started buying gold and silver, um, this probably would have been over in 2011, like it should have been. Um, but I think everybody is so dependent upon this system, uh, both in terms of income and savings, and they have this investment bias that uh, you know generationally has been instilled on people, that what's going to end up happening is that you're going to see bigger and bigger convulsions from one asset class to another trying to find safety. Um, and I think that uh, we're going to see gyrations, uh, you know, ripple in the stock markets and the bond markets and the currency markets and from weaker, uh, you know, companies and, into stronger companies and weaker nations into stronger nations. And eventually all this gyration is going to cause uh, such volatility inside the system that people are going to get sick from the swings. You know, they, they can go into one thing to another and all they're going to look for is safety in a world full of illusions. There, there is no safe place with any paper assets, just somebody else's counterparty risk that's all based on this generational debt-based Ponzi scheme. When I go through all this stuff, man, I just try to get to the end game. I don't, I don't look to, I know some of your viewer questions are, you know, how, what if I invest here? What if I invest there? You know, could, would I profit from here? No, this, this is a thing where you need to get your mind straight. What's the end game? What, in the most extreme position of where this is going to end, and this is not going to end well, Where's the safest place? And I, I keep coming back to the things in my hands. And not just gold and silver, but, you know, food and friends and skills and stuff. That's what you need to get your mindset on. So, you know, while everybody's watching all this stuff, I don't care. Like, I'm going to follow this on a, on a daily basis because that's somebody else's problem because I'm not invested in it. If I had my money or wealth and in, in, invested in inside the system, I'd be watching it like a scared little kid wondering what the next shoe is going to drop. But as soon as you become independent of the system... You start to gain uh, uh, self-confidence, and it allows you to not be emotionally manipulated and, and, and swayed with the tide that's going to get progressively worse as this crisis comes to an head.